Hide and Seek is a horror game. You run from a pursuer, hurriedly choose a hiding spot, then just wait, with only breath and heartbeat in your ears, for a pair of legs to pass your slim field of view. They stop, you stop breathing. They pass, you start breathing. And then they're back, you're caught, the game is over. It's a design that horror games have always favoured, but where most shock by using the moment of being found, Little Nightmares captures something more nuanced that creeping fright of waiting to be caught. Guiding a tiny raincoated character called Six from left to right through the sea-swaying innards of mysterious ocean facility The Moor is a matter of avoiding instant death hazards and gentle puzzling about how to proceed. But it rarely feels as plainly mechanical as that. Little Nightmare's closest relatives are Playdead's exemplary Limbo and Inside, not just because of its faint glee and the idea of a child in mortal peril, but in how cleverly it braids together puzzle design and storytelling. Every enemy, every room, every meat grinder you use to make a rope of sausages to swing from contributes to the story of Six's seeming breakout. You'll need to creep past, outsmart, or, most horrifyingly of all, Run and just hope you're not caught by the likes of a nightmarish custodian, deformed twin butchers, or the ghoulishly beautiful woman in kabuki dress that haunts Six's dreams. Oddly for a horror game, you know where your predators are and what they could potentially do to you at almost all times. You're more worried about them knowing where you are. I don't recall a single jump scare in the entirety of Little Nightmare's runtime, but I do know I yelped as a butcher wheezed and stooped to check under the greasy workbench I was hidden beneath. The Moor itself is something like the world's worst doll's house, made to reflect a small child's view of a giant adult world. It allures as much as it repulses, adding up to make for one of the best gaming locations I've seen in years, startlingly new and painstakingly tooled to encourage cautious exploration. It's a shame then that Little Nightmare's primary problems are so boring. Imprecise platforming, trial and error puzzles, inconsistent checkpoints and long load times mean death can become more frustrating than frightening. These are occasional issues though, more than made up for in the constant pleasure of exploration. Smart, grotesque and never-endingly weird, this is a very different, extremely welcome kind of horror game that left me wanting far more than its brief five hours provides.